In this section, we'll look into how to use the AT command tester tool. This is my setup. I have a SIM 900 module on a development board. So the serial port from the development board is connected to a USB hub and the USB hub is connected to the USB port on my PC. So the USB drivers enumerate the serial ports of the modem which are then used to connect uh, with the AT command tester tool. connect the modem uh, that is connected to your PC for that uh, you identify the port where your modem is connected and also know the baud rate that the modem is configured for and then you just connect the modem with the tool and confirm the response we'll also look at some troubleshooting tips first let's get the basic steps So I have the AT command tester 2 version 28 uh, launched. First I find the ports. So I have a, a modem. I have I found the tool found a COM port 11. That happens to be the port where the modem is connected. Now I have a default port rate that is set on the tool. But when I try to connect it, it sends the AT query, but it didn't get a valid response. So when you send an AT command, uh, just AT command, is you supposed to get an OK response from the modem. So I didn't get the response back from the modem. Um, so the tool is saying the valid the response is invalid or it didn't get anything back. Now I know the modem that I'm connected to is configured for the baud rate of 19200. So I change the baud rate. Now I try to connect again. So it's going to send the AT query and then it's going to send get some other send other additional AT commands to get the model number and manufacturer. So here in this case you can see that I got a valid response for all my commands so AT OK CGMM is the the model number CGMI is the manufacturer information so I got a valid response for all those AT commands and those are reflected in the status bar here so you can see that uh, the status is connected so that's the uh, basic use, right? You, you connect your modem, make sure you're connecting, you're having the right bar, comp port, and then the right port rate. Then you should see a valid response. Now let's look at some uh, troubleshooting steps in case where you're not able to connect uh, the modem with the tool. The first thing you want to check is whether you have the right. Uh, version of uh, AT command tester tool so from the link on the website there are two versions of the uh, the software tool available so one is the for the 64 bit java vm the other is for the 32 bit java vm so the, these are the links so you want to make sure you have the uh, the right version of the uh, AT command tester tool uh, that matches the Java version virtual machine you have on your system. So let's go back to the tool here and then let's clear the log. Best way to get that information is uh, you press the system info button. So this, uh, this is a useful command here um, that tells you the, the system configuration. So you're using the, uh, it tells you the version of the software, the Java version. So this is the Java version that you're using. And the Java VM is specified here. So this is 
this is the most important thing so on my machine obviously I'm using a 32-bit uh, Java VM so it's x86 so if you have a 64-bit it should tell you it's x64 so it, some other useful information such as the, the version of uh, the Windows operating system uh, where the software is installed so if you have a default if you go through the default install process it installs in this directory and it also tells you uh, it uh, gives a snapshot of the install directory you want to make sure these files are properly properly installed so this is the Java executable the license file and this is the the DLL for the serial communication so make sure you have all these files properly installed on your system uh, so these are needed uh, for the tool to work so once you check verified that you have the right version of the software 32-bit versus 64-bit uh, then you want to make sure that uh, you're connecting to the right ports in the tool so in the example we saw when I so let me do this again so I disconnect so when I did find ports it did find a port on my, uh, on my PC so COM11 now you may want to go and check your device manager the ports are usually listed um, under the ports section here so you can see that uh, there is a USB to serial uh, COM port and because my modem is actually connected over a USB link but it enumerates COM ports um, so that I can do serial communication with the modem so COM11 is the port that the modem is connected um, that's the one that tool found and that's the one I'm using to connect now let's see if I disconnect the modem uh, from my PC then you could see that the ports are no longer listed here so I connect again the port should appear this is one way for you to check uh, that the, the modem port is actually available and also make sure when you do a find ports with the, the tool that's the port, port that's listed here and connect to the then you can connect to the right yeah it, it, it might be the case where you have multiple ports sometimes so if you have a, a USB modem um, or some other modems uh, they might enumerate multiple ports um, so you want to connect to the port that uh, supports the AT communication so you need to check the um, the guide the developer guide for the module um, to get that information so we checked uh, we went through the uh, checking the ports in device manager and making sure you're selecting the right ports boundary selection uh, we briefly looked into it but just a little bit more examples here so the if I open the tool launch the tool the default port is it comes up with the baud rate of uh, 115 200 so I find the, find the ports and then as I said I try to connect so it's sending the query and then it's not getting a valid response so it's gonna fail now at this point if you see a response like this the thing that you can try is uh, if you know what the port of the modem is you can go connect uh, connect with that so I know it's 9200 and I can connect so I should see a valid response in that case in the modem and then everything is good but in the case where you don't know port uh, 
unfortunately your options are to try all the different rates so at some point you know you're gonna you're gonna try it's gonna try to send the query and then it's gonna sometimes you'll get a garbage response but you should see a response like this um, but eventually you're gonna get to the right port and then you should be able to connect so this is in case where you're not sure what the uh, default motor port is So finally, uh, another troubleshooting method is uh, using another tool called Putty. So you can download the tool from the link here. So this is the case where you know you you just want to verify the the serial communication with the modem is good. Um, so you can use this tool. So let's try that. So I have installed the tool here. Now in this here you want to go select the serial communication. So in the control panel I know the modem is connected to serial port 11. So I want to select that port. And I also know that the modem port rate is set to 9200. So with this configuration I want to open a session. So it brings up a command line interface like, like this. So I just press AT enter. So that getting the response OK means that uh, the communication with the modem on that port with the baud rate that we selected is good. So you can just check another some other basic commands CGMI. So it's the manufacturer is uh, Simcom. So using putty um, you can just check that uh, you know port or good port that you think the modem is connected the border that you think the modem is configured for um, are correct by using this tool 